Hello, YouTube, and I'm going to be this trick or treat studio store fire after crime uh, that my girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day this year, and I'm super excited. Uh, I remember Trick or Treat Studios announced that they're going to release a 1-6 scale of the crown either by end of 2021 or beginning of 2022 so this was in my uh, wish list for sure especially that I have the Evan Para FX life size of the crown boss and I'm sure this is going to look great uh, next to that one so I can't wait to test it out and see how they're gonna look together um, I created this one came out about a month or month and a half ago so I'm kind of late to the party but I'm still very excited that I have one for my collection uh, and you can see the packaging it looks absolutely amazing you can see the, the art that they used see the art of clown right there with the, all the plot effects around them and at the top it's a terrifier 1-6 scale art clown figure and in the bottom it's the logo of the Trick or Treat Studios here's the side of the box you can see it's just the title terrifier and in the bottom it says 1-6 scale art clown uh, basically both left and right side is the same exact thing and finally here's the back of the box you can see the top terrifier once it's get Art the Clown title and just look at this image of the Art the Clown with all the red around it very very creepy and cool honestly I was thinking which uh, picture is better the one in the front or the back but honestly they, honestly, they both look great uh, maybe I'll pick the first I mean the front of the package but this one is still Amazing, I like that how it's red, it is, and super cool. Um, and now I'm actually going to show you all the inside how the door opens and how the figure looks in there. There's another image right there, also. And here is actually the inside of the box. You can see it's magnetic, just close it by itself and you open. And here's the inside art. See, looks absolutely great. You can see the art is all bloody and here's actually him in the box and then you can see all the accessories and all of that so i can't wait to take him out so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go and take the article out of the box so i'll be right back i got this article out of the box it looks absolutely great uh, he comes with uh, three accessories it's a saw and two extra hand uh, and he stands a 12 12 and a half inches tall that's basically the height of the 1 6 scales um, it doesn't come with any figure stand uh, I kind of had a little bit hard time in the beginning to stand him up but it's, it's fine right now uh, I kind of made him to bend forward a little bit uh, but I'm thinking maybe I'll get a doll stand I mean the figure stand from Trigger Tree Studios because they have actually they made the, the Art of Clown version so if you guys could get the bloody version that they have they would have to just give you the stand for free but if i get the regular version i think you just have to pay for the uh, the stand which i believe it's 10 bucks so it's not bad uh, or you guys can find one on ebay uh, but for now i don't need anything i needed it looks absolutely great the clothing the accessories it's all great um so i can't wait to check out the uh, thing the accessories and articulation so now first I'm gonna bring the, the extra hands this is the one that he holds this thing if you guys remember in the movie the scene that he had this you can see it's all bloody and it looks to me looks great and actually it's pretty smart to actually glue this with the hand so you don't need to make him hold it and all of that and I'm sure he will be very very hard to make him hold this so this is actually a good touch the way they did it I feel like I'm going to display him with this the scene that you guys remember um, so I can't wait to try it out this is the other hand you can see it's still bloody and this one is probably to hold the saw which is very cool Let's see the blood work that they did inside and outside and here's the saw you can see it looks great the weathering that they did and this is actually plastic so it's you can see it's very very thin so you guys have to be careful not to be too rough It's actually good that they give this one too with it. 
And now I'm gonna bring him so we can see how he looks, the main part. I guess let's see how he looks. It's pretty light too, it's, so it's pretty good. The clothing is awesome. Um, you can see the face is extremely well done. You can see the eyes are actually actually like looking up. You can see they're not looking straight, but to me that's not a big deal. Actually, I like it because I can actually make him look down like this, so it's actually looking more terrifying. So I actually like the fact that he's um, looking up. And you can see also this one. I thought this one, this regular edition, doesn't have blood at all. But it actually has some blood you can see in the face. Which is nice. Because my life size uh, Evan Perfect uh, custom made bust from the Articon one. Actually, that one doesn't have blood, but if, since it's a custom made, he offers you if you guys want to add blood to it. But I decided that I want the clean version. But I'm glad this one has some blood, so it's gonna be different than the other one. At the end, at the end of the video, I'm gonna put this guy next to the boss, so you guys can see the differences and how the boss looks next to him. So can't wait for that. The hat actually is just glued on it; it's not removable. Um, let's see the wall work, the eyes, very very detailed, the nasty teeth. You can see the teeth are very well done. The clothing is pretty amazing too. It's pretty like puffy, like uh, has like too much space on it, which is actually good. And I'm actually thinking I might uh, make a trash bag, you know, those black trash bags and uh, if you guys remember in the scene in the beginning in the restaurant that he had that uh, trash bag with him and he was taking that uh, everywhere with him and who knows what was inside there um, so I'm thinking if you make a trash bag for this guy we're gonna look great to display him like that or even put it next to him honestly it's still gonna look great I wish it would include that but making that one is not that hard I might make one for him you can see the pom pom here. You can see even this hand has a blood on it too. Very, very cool. This one, not as bloody as the other one, but still it has blood. Then See the shoes, just the back. You can see it has a zipper right there. It's in gold. You guys can uh, bring it up and down if you guys want to take the clothes off or anything. And, right, and here's the shoes. Honestly, the shoes are one of my favorites. I like how the clowny in Women in the movie was all like uh, big. So here's the shoes, which are pretty cool. So they did a great job with that too as well. Uh, this part is a little bit stands up, but it actually with the the packaging, I'm gonna fix that. Uh, I'm gonna go over the articulation right now. Uh, so I can't wait to see the articulation. The head actually it looks left and right, not so much. It looks down and up. And see so you can bring it down and up, so that's pretty good. And it turns, of course, left and right, so that's pretty amazing. The hands, the arms, they go to the side all the way. Back and front, and actually this is the most amazing part, that is double jointed elbow, so that's pretty cool. I honestly would say I really, really 
needed that for this and it goes to the side here same thing double jointed and he has like more pants in the thing too and the legs of course the legs are a little bit the joints are in the loose side but it's not bad as i guess it doesn't affect him to stand up on his own but other than that it's actually it's a good thing but the body is pretty hard it's not a soft plastic so the articulation is pretty good i would say it's pretty smooth and you can pose him however you want it actually has a full possibility so that's actually amazing um i'm gonna try actually my favorite pose that i want to do and see if it's gonna work and i'm gonna try that and i'll be right back and show you all how that looks all right guys here is the pose that i was talking about my favorite pose for this uh figure is i'm sure you guys remember the scene here's the photo i tried my best to do as close as possible you can see he's holding the knife thingy and uh, he's standing above and trying to make it as movie accurate as possible the way he's holding it it looks absolutely great i like this pose most likely i'm going to display him uh like this for now next to my uh article and custom bust which in a few minutes i'm going to show you all how it looks next to him Let me know what you guys think, if this pose is actually good or it's not as good or what I actually like this but if I make a trash bag for him I'm going to display him with that as well I guess here's what I promised to show, and here's the uh, Triple Tree Studios uh, the clown next to my life size the clown boss by Evan Braffex. Ever since last year, I was curious to uh, try these two next to each other and see how they're gonna look, and I feel like they look great. And I'm very, very curious what you guys think, if I should leave it like this or I should display them separately. But to me, for now, this is an awesome display. And I like that the Triple G Studios one has blood on it in the face. You can see that I showed you guys earlier. It has some blood. But this custom made one, it doesn't have blood on it. Uh, this custom one is made out of resin and it's a real cloth and everything and the hat is also removable too and I feel like this 1.6 scale one looks awesome next to him uh, and I feel like this pose a lot is my one of my favorite scenes and his poses in the movie so probably for now I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm also curious what you guys think if you guys like this pose and also having them next to each other let me know in the comment down below and also feel free to like and uh, subscribe for more unboxing videos and until next time I'll see you guys later